Hello ladies and gentlemen, Sigvald Green here and in today's video we are going to take a look at a few soul raid pips and I'm going to show you a very interesting one where I did uh, very close to 10 million damage with the just League team that I have not invested almost anything into and I think that uh, was a pretty crazy result but yeah we're going to start off with uh, a pip against boss Green Lantern and it's going to be a pip using Hellboy as a tank Hellboy is going to work well as a tank for you against uh, uh, boss Green Lantern and at the same time against boss uh, Lord Joker in the soul raids with close to no investments. And with close to no investment he can do that for tier 6, phase 3, but uh, uh, for tier 7 and tier 8, phase 3 you'll need to put some health onto him. But yeah, I forgot to show the stats for this uh, fight actually, but uh, my Kionflan Sakomen is uh, kind of 90% towards a perfect build at level 60 gears. And Hellboy just has like 20k, uh, not even 20k I think health and 75% uh, defense, like that's pretty much it. And the strategy will be just pushing uh, him uh, to the right corner while Hellboy is going to get healed constantly. And now that we, I did that special one trying to get him to the corner but I have already gotten to the corner so that was kind of pointless. But yeah, uh, I'll try to... Uh, build up some power to kill Flan Sakomen because now we don't have enough for the special trees. And other than the hazards, the thing that's very annoying about uh, Boss Green Lantern is the fact that he's going to have a shield that will prevent most of my damage. But uh, when it comes to the last minute of the fight, you can do two special trees by tagging with Kimplant Sakomen. And when you do the second special tree, his shield should expire if you use it before you tagged in. I was not a fan of using uh, the Hellboy strategy because of the fact that for some reason uh, taggings used to fail a lot against uh, boss Green Lantern and for some reason nowadays they simply don't fail that often and I don't know why, I don't know what has changed but this fight every single tagging worked well for me and if every single tagging is going to work well I think this is going to be a strategy to go. You can see that I, while that shield is active I deal pathetic damage, like that special tree if the shield was not active would have done above 1 million damage and the amount his shield is going to reduce the damage I deal to him is just insane. Like uh, over here another special tree, we were just one second off uh, of uh, doing it while he was not shielded but unfortunately uh, we had to do it to not interrupt our combo. Over here is not uh, is not on a shield you can see, not a crit 406, let's do another one, not a crit again, come on game, like th this was very unlucky, like the only moment when I got uh, some free hits on him, well he was not chilly, it was not a crit, but yeah going back in, first one will be thrown into the shield unfortunately, you don't uh, really have a way around it. And this second one is going to be uh, 800k, we didn't have a big combo for that to be fair, but yeah. We should have ended that into a special one, but uh, this is the end of it, this is the damage. A uh, decent, like, the only redeeming factor about uh, Green Lantern, and that's why I consider him far easier than the last half of the Joker, is the fact that he simply has so much less health compared to the last half of the Joker. Like, it's a pain to deal with, don't get me wrong, but uh, you're going to eventually get through him. And uh, this pip will be with Black Adam, Shazam and uh, John Stewart Green Lantern. I'm using Shazam because I don't really have a team to put him in, honestly. Uh, I could put him around that, but I thought that uh, Black Adam would benefit from him. The power reduction character had to go for Silver Banshee, so that was not even an option in this fight. And the other had to go towards Kimplant Sakomen, so it was either Shazam or uh, Horrific Scarecrow. And looking back on it, Horrific Scarecrow would have been a far better choice. I've also done a pip with Horrific Scarecrow, and with Horrific Scarecrow, he almost, uh, Green Lantern almost never got to use his uh, special attack because I would constantly power drain him, but now that I got Shazam in theory I'm going to have more attack, but in practice I'm going to just uh, uh, not do more damage because he will constantly uh, put his shield up. And over here I'm just waiting to use the super move and I'm kind of waiting on his shield to expire. It expired. And yeah, this strategy is going to use uh, John Stewart, Green Lantern and hug the left corner because in the left corner we're safe. Yeah, because it's the only the power drain hazard and uh, Emerald Green Lantern and John Stewart Green Lantern will give you immunity to uh, 
uh, had the secondary effect, so we don't get power drain. I'll go a little bit aggressive on this one, uh, and uh, in the fight where I used horrific surfer, I didn't need to go aggressive, but over here I'm going aggressive because I don't want to give him an opportunity to use this special one. Also, in this one, I got quite unlucky when it came to the uh, power drain actually working. And uh, with Black Adam it goes kind of through a spiral, like if the power drain does not work one time then it will take longer to get enough power to try it again, if it does not work again then it will get, take more power to try it again, and it really sucks, it's very lucky land, again did not work, I think it's four times in a row at this point, come on. Six times in a row it did not work. Like I did not even remember it was so much and remember it has a chance that finally it worked after 6 times and it has like uh, something close to a 60% chance to power steal from the enemy. Like the the unlock on that one was crazy. This is why I keep dying with Black Adam in phase 4 because he just wouldn't want to power drain Brainiac for some reason. Yeah I did not power drain there, he got his shield up. I'm getting very annoyed in this fight, like the gameplay is going well enough, uh, but the problem, we are not even close to dying, but the only problem is he's constantly getting the shield up and I'm so sad because I didn't use Horrific Scarecrow, because with Horrific Scarecrow uh, it would have been no problem, he wouldn't have gotten to 5 bars of power for the most part, and you might be like, well use your second ability of Black Adam, well my second ability of Black Adam is around level 20, and at the same time without the power reduction character I can't reliably spam that and it would not really be beneficial. But yeah we're getting close to the end over here, and I'm starting to finally get a little bit of luck with the power drain. Yeah, right now it, when it doesn't really matter that much anyway. Oh, thank god I power drained him on that last one, I don't know what I would have done without it. Yeah, this is this was a disappointing pip. But now we get into the good part. Look at those boys, look at those boys, they are trash, they are pathetic. They are unupgraded. It's only ray drops that I have over here and I played a little bit with the rolls like the only thing I added was some crit chance and some fast attack on Aquaman and it's close to nothing. But the results of this pip will be something that's a little bit mind blowing at the, at the very least to me. Maybe you would, you would have expected this. We're going to use uh, Just League Aquaman as the main damage dealer and some of you asked me in the previous one why don't you use the Flash, he's got 4 fast attack hits. I know, I'm aware of the fact that Flash would be a better damage dealer than uh, Just League Aquaman but the thing that you uh, fail to see is the fact that my Just League Aquaman has only level 20 gears and I did not invest into Just League uh, uh, Aquaman's gears either but he has uh, gotten much more lucky with the raid drops. Maybe I'll build a Just League team right now uh, I don't really have that as a priority, though I don't have any priorities with this count yet, so I might as well work on them, but for now, simply just League Aquaman got more lucky with his uh, ray drops, and that makes a big enough difference. But yeah, the whole purpose of this fight would be will be combo interrupting uh, Horrific Scarecrow, or Scarecrow until the end, I mean it's called Boss Scarecrow, but we already know for a fact it's Horrific Scarecrow. Also a question that I got about the last video with this team was uh, why don't I use the special tree? Do you know how much damage a special tree will deal? Like it will be around 100k when uh, I'm at uh, about 40 stacks. And uh, the, also the problem with that is the fact that uh, it will uh, push me away from Horrific Scarecrow so that will interrupt my uh, combo interruption and will put me not in a good position. So at this point I'm uh, at the point where using the special 3 will actually make me lose damage, not make me gain damage. By the way you saw what I did there, I waited for him to be ready for his super move, I used my super move and then tagged out another character. This is like uh, the way you really play Black Manta when you're waiting to do your super move against the boss, it's really against the Orb of Scarecrow also. But yeah, we're pretty much going to interrupt the combos of this guy uh, until the end of it and there's not much for me to really talk about so I'll see you near the end of the fight then. Yeah. 
yeah, I, I'm close to the end and I have failed the combo over here like the only time I failed it through the entire fight. Couldn't have done a perfect one, like come on. And... Guess the damage. 9.7 million. That's pretty damn good with, for a team with zero investment. I know this will not happen against every boss. I know this happened here because you could uh, interrupt his basic attacks. But at the end of the day, almost uh, every stage... Actually, I think every stage has a boss that can be combo interrupted. So you just spam them there and they deal their damage. So I guess that's pretty good. Over here, we're going to use team Multiverse team in the uh, same fight. And yet again, I have not killed Boss Green Lantern yet. What uh, I am doing is using those characters on our fights because I'm sure that King and Black Adam will eventually kill the Boss Green Lantern uh, until the end of the uh, uh, Soul Raid season. Let's call it that. And uh, using other characters uh, in that fight will yield some damage, will make me complete Boss Green Lantern faster, but I don't need to. And using those specific teams over there would be a waste. And what I try to do over here uh, from time to time, like I tried a few times, uh, but it does not work. Actually, I think I tried it the last... No, nah, I, I tried it a few times here. Uh, I tried to use a special tree and then combo interrupt Scarecrow. But yet again, it's going to be tricky because uh, of the fact that uh, uh, you are not really... Uh, able to interrupt him properly after you use a special attack and it's going to be uh, some sort of a different uh, timing on the interruption so it's going to be a little bit harder to do that i think i explained that on the last video that i did uh, and i used silver bench over here and i tried pretty much the same strategy like it can be done it can be done reliably i'm just not good enough at it yet but uh, i'll get the hang of it but yeah, I'm playing this uh, at this point when I realized I can't really properly combo interrupt him. I'm going to switch into uh, Captain Coldplay style. Because you can literally play this fight exactly like you play Captain Cold. Because basically what you do is uh, you back off until he does a jump attack. You engage the combo and then you block his basic attacks. Continue the combo. Does this look familiar? This is exactly how you do it against Captain Cold in normal raids. This is the exact same strategy and it works here. It really works. And I'm quite happy with that, I'm getting free Captain Cold practice. Like, it's not really practice for uh, Raid's Captain Cold, because it's going to be a little bit different when it comes to him attacking you. But uh, he shouldn't really attack you. Yeah, going pretty smooth over here, interrupting him, Multiverse Armor Supergirl in yet again. Special tree, not the crit unfortunately. Attacking in flash, and uh, over here I tried to do three, uh, three special trees through one burn cycle, but my multiverse armor superhero is still level 66 uh, I think right now, and those few seconds that I'm missing on the special one level really hurt me, because you should be able to do three special trees uh, through one burning cycle and reset it in time, if you do it properly. And I did it properly over there, I just did not have the time. Going to attempt yet again, three special trees on one burn cycle. Okay, backing off two times. Over here I made it, but I barely made it. It shouldn't be usually that uh, scrappy when you do it. But yeah, we, 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 are, we are working with what we got uh, offered over here. And by the way, it's kind of exhausting playing uh, on two accounts again. Like I began the new account for the fresh start series in the Hack Arena. And I'm having fun on it, but at the same time I barely had time to do anything today. But I'm glad you guys are enjoying the series. Rare I failed to reset the burn. Tang him flash it again. Ah, uh, he used the special attack. Big sad, big sad, we, he ruined our vibe. And right now I think I should have stayed with Multiverse Armor Supergirl in the fight until the end after that, but I think I'm going to do it now. Failed to uh, interrupt him over there. Yet again, I can't get my head around interrupting after I use the special attack, okay? And this is going to be the end of the fight and the end of the video. Thank you all for watching and I'll hopefully see you all in the next video.